This is uh, leaving Cape Town after photo drop and then that's where we're off around Cape Good Hope just around the corner. Today's the first day I'd say we're really in the Southern Ocean two and a half days out of Cape Town so not even down in the Roaring Forties but uh, these are Roaring Forties. Left uh, Cape Town about five days ago uh, today's a bit or this evening's a bit of a celebration I celebrate the passing of each uh, each of the great capes Cape Good Hope which is one of the great capes and Cape Agulhas which is actually the more southern most part of, uh, of Africa and there you get warm very salty water coming from the Indian Ocean in a very strong current so there is a bit of a tradition um, not to celebrate passing Cape of Good Hope until one is well clear. Super tankers and big ships have been lost. It throws up huge waves when you get uh, strong westerlies going against the easterly current. It just creates mountains of seas. <laughs> I have a nice compilation of, uh, of messages from family and from friends. And the drink is port port for every cape that we passed aboard. Cheers. And the next one is um, Cape Lewin off Australia in, uh, well it was 6,000 miles, it's now five and a half thousand miles time. Today's a day uh, for reflection. Yesterday we learned that uh, Tapio had set off his EPA, that's his emergency uh, alarm system. It will be uh, a uh, shocking time for him, uh, the experience, but the loss of the boat and uh, everything else. Life on board Clara in the Southern Ocean. Get your exercise just hanging on and walking around and cooking and sleeping. Almost uh, seven weeks now since leaving Cape Town. It's a very isolated, uh, desolate place, the Southern Ocean. But this is what landfall looks like and uh, it's always very exciting. It's great to, uh, great to see land. Nice to be on the other side of a camera for a change! <laughs> okay, that sounds great. Is the uh, boy the one right in short behind the little jet? Uh, yeah, roger that. It looks worse than it actually is when you get close, but it's on the uh, on your port side over by the brake water. Okay. How do you feel now that you're here? Uh, yeah, it's a, a big relief to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were times over the last week that I said, why do we have to do these uh, <laughs> gates? Because every time we go around a gate, we run into a massive high pressure system. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're halfway now, you're sort of heading home. You know, what's, what's your uh, impression? You know, what are, you, what are you, you know, your emotions, you know, looking forward to what, you know? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, looking forward, I mean, the big one is, is to get round the next Cape. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is 6,000 odd miles away. Yeah. Uh, so always a bit of trepidation going back down into uh, the Southern Ocean because yeah. it deserves respect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Indian Ocean was interesting. Not quite what I was expecting. Yeah. Not quite perhaps what it normally is. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the big thing. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I was really chipper about uh, two weeks ago when uh, I thought I had pretty good uh, lead in the race in terms of the race yeah but the ultimate objective is to get round and uh, and and do the uh, the turn but uh, having found myself uh, with a bit of a lead naturally you kind of want to you want to look want, after want to, <laughs> want to try and look <laughs> after it and now I've, I've effectively lost uh, lost it all I think uh, yeah yeah 
don't think I've had any frights at all except for the little uh, trip up the mast and, and yeah. the other ones are just things that uh, you think oh damn that's that's the end of the race and then you think about it and find a solution yeah what do you reckon the biggest seas and winds you saw all the way across uh, not, not huge I mean to be honest I didn't see anything more than a sustained 35 yeah uh, gusting 40 yeah lots of them yeah uh, probably seven or eight of them a big big succession of them coming out of Cape Town yeah uh, and then uh, I mean, the last bit I don't know if it's normally like that I didn't obviously didn't do my research but but uh, the, the, I haven't had a depression I've been praying for a depression coming through <laughs> <laughs> but there hasn't been a depression in the, in, in the latitudes um, for now 2,000 miles 1,500 yeah. 1, miles I mean the first boat I've seen since uh, Agulhas Bank uh, 5,500 miles away was at the fishing oh, the net. fish farms fish here. farms yeah yeah that's the first sign of life yeah human life or or boat of any sort that i've seen in <laughs> in six weeks yeah cool <laughs> which is which is quite interesting it's yeah. a, it's a remote place yeah absolutely that's good uh films and tapes and stuff letters. yeah yeah do you want to take them now i was i was going to do a, oh yeah a little thing bit of a yeah yeah cool we'll do that in a minute so we'll sign off on this and then you got some friends that want to come on and all that sort of stuff as well yeah so yeah. yeah we'll do that in a sec okay very good shake when your you hand say, come, come, come on the, the, no they're not, not coming come on, on. No, i've got to hold just, the boat just to clarify yeah exactly yeah yeah so uh, simon's here and kirsten's coming and so is abolition all the rest see ya bye bye